so what's uh, ha, ha, <clears throat> good start, right? <laughs> Sweet. Good start. <laughs> Got the call up a couple of days ago to fly up all the way from Melbourne. They wanted the best, they got the best. I don't usually do these sort of things, but in circumstances like this, desperate times call for desperate measures. And if they're willing, if they're willing to pay big money, I'm willing to fly up. Sweet smell of sawdust, ciggies. Doesn't get any better than this, really. I'm in my domain here. All those fitness yahoos. Got nothing on this. This is where the real work's done. Hard labour. That's what it's all about, really. That's what it's all about. Now, I've just got to find my booth. Where's the setup? I know where the bastards are. Nice if I could find the bloody booth. I'm the one that's meant to be building it. Can't even bloody well find it. You ever operated any heavier machinery before, Robbo? Me? <laughs> I am the heavy machinery. I mean, uh, well attuned, well accustomed, very familiar when it comes to exercising and uh, utilising the heavy machinery. But for me, I'm usually a hands on sort of man. Prefer to use my hands. That's what my father did, my grandfather before him, great grandpappy before him too. Yeah, just put it, just put it in. Yeah, right over there. See, sometimes you just need to put people through their paces and give them a sense of direction and purpose. It's why I've really been brought in here. Uh, it's why I'm a key asset, but uh, I do say so myself. You know, big events like this, they call for big booths with big banners, big brand names, big budgets, bringing in the big names, especially when it comes to booth building. It really, it really doesn't get any bigger than this. You do have to wonder though, is he compensating for something? <laughs> we are going to Titans Fitness uh, in Coogee. Uh, we, so we've just spent the morning uh, with Team Muscle Nation at the International Convention Centre. We've helped set up the booth, shot a bit of content, seen the behind the scenes of the setup for the entire expo. Uh, and now we're going to join the rest of Team EHP at Titan Fitness in Coogee. I think they're currently doing a Facebook Live group workout as we speak. Um, so it'll be good to to rub shoulders, rub deltoids with some of the bigger and better names in the industry today. Um, we've got Yako, Katia, uh, who else is there? Rachel Dillon. Um, so it'll be good. It'll be good to, to touch base with all of them and train the house down. Yeah. Biggest one. Yeah. You never heard of people before? 
Yeah, Everyone just says that it's like what you get down in Melbourne times a by four. No, times by hundred. It's a zoo. It's a zoo. It's massive. It's so big that you don't know how big it is because you can't. There's so many in the halls. Like all around. You can walk it toward it. That's how big it is. Just getting in one last session before day one tomorrow. Uh, down here with the rest of Team EHP. Half of us are having lunch, half of us are getting the job done. Um, just a pool session today, so back, traps, biceps, uh, high volume, high rep sort of work today. Uh, and it'll be interspersed with a hell of a lot of chatting, uh, catching up with a lot of the athletes because we do get the opportunity to network and connect WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. Very rarely do we get the opportunity to meet each other face to face. So, time to play some catch up. This is how it's done. Tell how you grew that baby. Show me a CD. You need to create my ball. It's a pulse, remember? Is there a pulse? No, it's 6 a.m. 15 pulses. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, um, I want to get booties like these. Turn around, girls. Turn around, girls. I think I'm... I think you really got it. I think I do have it. You're actually good. Yeah, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm thinking... I'm thinking of making the move from muscle model into bikini diva, and I think I can do it. All I need to do is... He'll win it from behind. <laughs> One of the longest, the long jeopardy of the man. How long have you been in the fitness industry now? Since birth. Since birth. Since so, birth. He doesn't muck it around. 40 years. How long? <laughs> no, I've been lifting since 1998. So. 1998. Uh, this is a thing. I remember coming to the Sydney Fitness Show a couple of years ago, seeing Max at the EHP Labs booth. The man doesn't age, and he's never out of condition. Good coconut oil helps. Goes a long way. Yeah. <laughs> no, <so. laughs> I know, I know. I see I'm getting my tan tonight, which is an ideal, but there's nothing to Photo Photoshop, Photoshop the darkness, please. <laughs> you make me look good, you make me look like I live. <laughs> Cool. and the EHP Labs booth for all three days of the Sydney Fitness Show. So if you're in town, you know where you need to be. But for everyone else, wherever you are around the world, take your day with a spring in your step and a smile on your dark. For everyone else, wherever you are around the world, take your All right, so what are you doing now? We're getting food. We need to fuel up. Um, expo days, the reality is once you start, you do not stop from 10 a.m. right through. 5pm, uh, minimal to no lunch breaks, um, so now is the opportunity to fuel up, get ready for what should be a jam-packed day ahead. Anytime that I go on Facebook Live, any any posts that I make on Instagram, anything relating to training or nutrition, he's taught me. This is my coach Polo, uh, and he's taken me to the stage twice, and I've walked away both times with the top prize, and it is a direct result of his coaching. <laughs> you know, he, he knows what he's doing. 
Mr. Miyagi, he tells me what to do. He tells me what to do. He tells me. The man. Brody has answered the call. I've got my neck and I've got my my question to you is, how long have you been waking up to my good morning? A year at least. A year at least. <laughs> and you don't get sick of them? No. <laughs> There's a true fan. Thank you so much. Chambers, who are still recovering from last week's powerlifting competition. What total are you guys in your, I mean, the first powerlifting competition, how'd you go? Uh, I went 660, 8 from 9. Uh, reasonably happy with that, yeah. My ninth lift uh, felt as if it was glued to the ground. Yeah. That wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I was done. Well, for, really done. For the first ever powerlifting competition, that's amazing. The couples that train together stay together. Meg also competed. How did you go? Yeah, I did well. I got a 347 total, 7 from 9, which really pissed me off. So yeah, I'm going again at the end of the She's going again. Yeah. She can't be stopped. So at the moment, they're still in recovery mode. Uh, how's the central nervous system on? Oh, yeah. Absolutely fine. Right. I tried to train yesterday, uh, like, in the dawn event. I did two sets of squats and I was done. Done and dusted. So it does take yeah, it out of you. Uh, but a phenomenal performance for both of them, especially in their first ever powerlifting competition. Pretty, pretty phenomenal. So we're heading over now to Muscle Beach, uh, which is on the back there. It's the centre stage uh, where we're going to go through a group workout. These guys are probably, when it comes to authenticity, genuine people within the industry, these two guys Get personify that. that. This no, guy. No. Listen to it. I was just speaking to Mark just before <laughs> about one of the joint venture sort of partnership that they're putting together in terms of uh, educating personal trainers on uh, nutrition and, and essentially getting them and educating them on the sort of evidence-based stuff nutrition that is going to be applicable to the general public, manageable, right. sustainable. And I think that's the biggest thing, like obviously yeah. you guys are very successful trainers yourself, uh, you've had great success with your clients, um, but, but to be able to then educate and empower trainers to be able to get the same results get better for results. their clients, it's very exciting. So when's we, this all coming to fruition? Thank you, Robbie. Yeah, it's all Thank you, Robbie. Thank what you. a, <laughs> what a <laughs> man! No, I see this, I get come excited. On. Come on. You, you flip through, you flip through Instagram, and it's just it's just half naked selfies. But then you see these guys making a difference. No, when, no, we're, we're about one month off. Through yeah. the month of May, we'll finalise our packages, Rob, yep. and then we'll be able to uh, put this together. It'll be really thorough, uh, including recipes, a full formal guide that trainers can then use for their clients to provide better results and yeah, give them the confidence. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to authentic. <laughs> Reverted. Yeah, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's this guy, man. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> we're in the posing no. pit now together. Stay, stay tuned. We're, we're about to pump some iron, but stay tuned for this exciting adventure. Venture. Adventure. Uh, if you're a personal trainer and you need advice when it comes to nutrition and, and actually providing that sort of guidance to your clients, you. stay tuned. Uh, the EHP Labs family is in full force. Not only do we have global athletes training with their followers and fans, uh, we've taken over the gym. There is literally EHP Labs, red, white and blue, everywhere. Talk me through, first day, what do you reckon? What's the recap? The recap, so today? Yep. It was a great warm up, 
for what's going to happen this morning. Yeah. We have to get in there. It's been, what, how many years since we've been in Sydney for the Fitness Expo? So they've done some work on the convention center. Everybody's grown. Athletes, the brand, everyone's grown. So it's nice to come back. It was like a, what do you call it? It was like a, having an appetizer today. We got a little taste of what's to come for this weekend, and we're ready to go. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's pumped and ready. <laughs> All right, we're now back at the hotel. Day one is officially done and dusted. The expo is done. The meet and greet at Titan Fitness with Team AHP is done. I am exhausted, but I am very excited about the prospect of day two, which is no doubt be the biggest and hopefully the best day of the Australian Fitness Show. But for now, it's time to sleep.